Hi, I'm Mary Jo Feely with Fourth Dimension Healing in Stillwater, Minnesota. And I'm also the director of the Center for Crystal in Healing Studies, which is my online school. And I offer a variety of both free mini courses and eBooks, as well as more in-depth coursework in Reiki energy healing and crystal healing. I'm also the host of the Ask, Learn, Heal podcast. And through my podcast, I offer episodes related to self-care, energy healing, crystal healing, and offer guided meditations with all of my episodes. So feel free to take a look at any of those um, links below this video should you be curious about some of the other work that I do. Today, I want to talk with you about a beautiful powerhouse of a crystal known as Herkimer Diamond Quartz sometimes referred to as Herkimer Diamonds or Herkies. Now, I typically like to use its full name, Herkimer Diamond Quartz or Herky, because I don't want to give the impression that it's a diamond. A diamond is completely different mineral. It is made out of carbon, whereas the Herkimer Diamond Quartz is a type of clear quartz, which is made out of and created with um, silicone and oxygen, so it's silicone dioxide. Before I show you a herky and explore that just a little bit more, I want to actually just show you a piece of clear quartz. And if you are relatively new to my work and new to crystal healing, you can learn more about other types of clear quartz and all the quartz family by taking a look at some of the other videos that I have available. So here is a small point. It's actually a really lovely single terminated, which means it has one point faceted a uh, piece of clear quartz that represents the storm element. If you're not familiar with the system of elements that I work with, which are earth, fire, water, wind, and storm, you can learn more about that through my uh, other videos and podcasts as well. So when we're working with clear quartz, it has the ability to be able to really clear all of the chakras. It's great for opening up the energy system, that whole energy field. And it is also an amplifier of energy. So it works really well when we pair it up with working with other gemstones. That stone, this um, clear quartz, has a hardness on the Mohs hardness scale of seven. Now, Herkimer Diamond Quartz is a little bit um, stronger. It actually has a hardness of 7.5. And even though it is still silicon dioxide, it kind of ramps up those energies of clear quartz. So here is an example of a Herkimer Diamond Quartz or a Herky. And you can see that it's, it's very tiny. Um, certainly when you're checking out Herkimer's on um, Google or wherever you might go for your online search for images. Know that a lot of times what we're going to find are museum quality, really, really, really wonderfully huge, large, gorgeous um, Herkies. The reality is when we're working with Herkimer Diamond Quartz personally or as part of a healing practice, we're going to tend to be working with the smaller ones because they are a little pricey. And so working with the smaller ones gives us the same ability to be able to connect up with the frequencies and properties of the Herkies without necessarily totally blowing our whole, let's say, year budget that we want to set aside for stones um, with perhaps one stone. Uh, I want to show you a couple different examples that are kind of representative also of what I carry. Again, size is not significant. So when you're working with Herkies, it's going to be a tiny piece. They are pack a wallop vibrationally. They're very stormy, which means that they're going to be really working with transformational energies, bringing those heavenly energies down, bringing that earth energy up and really, um, really clearing house and opening up and transforming. When I'm working with Herkes, either personally for my own healing work or working with clients with crystal healing, I often am finding that those stones are being placed around the crown chakra or the heart chakra. Because when we think about the storm element and we think about the transformation and all of that um, really vortex energy that comes through with storm, when we are able to clear out that crown chakra, 
help those energies, those wisdoms and that guidance drop down through our crown chakra, move down into our heart and then settle into our heart, we're able to integrate those uh, energies and those teachings and learnings much more effectively because it's about the integrating and bringing those into our own lived experience that really is what healing is all about, okay? So I wanted to show you another example, again, representative of what I carry. Um, here we go. These beauties come out of New York, Herkimer County. They're very rare, which is why we tend to be more likely to be able to access, afford, and work with some of the, the smaller pieces. And um, you can take a look at what I have available in my online shop. You can learn more about Herkimer Diamond Quartz. It really is a mar marvelous stone to work with when you are choosing to do deep spiritual work. Uh, if you are feeling ungrounded and um, really wanting to stay more connected with um, the earth, you would probably benefit first from working with a stone such as, let's say, hematite. I have a piece of hematite right here. Work with some hematite first to get yourself really grounded in your body. And then, as I set my hematite aside, then go ahead and rest with the Herkimer up at the top of your head, uh, rest with it on your heart chakra, rest with it and meditate with it as you're holding your, uh, holding it in one of your hands and allow those frequencies to really ground with you. Now, the other thing I wanna mention is that when we're working with stones and size, it really for the most part is not super significant. I do think that when you're working with a stone or let's say a couple stones at the same time, the, the sizes should be more or less the same. The mass of the stone, the weight, the, the, how much space it takes up, it approximately should be about the same. So if you're working with a Herkimer diamond quartz um, and a piece of carnelian, it might be a little bit of a mismatch. So perhaps here's a piece of phrenite. Um, taking a little bit smaller piece of a stone can be a little bit more effective for you. But again, get, try it. It's not going to hurt. And you may just find that it's more effective if they're balanced out a little bit. At least that's my experience. Okay. So that's just a little bit about Herkimer Diamond Quartz. Please check out my online shop. See if there's um, anything that you might be interested in. Reach out to me. You can send me a chat through my website. You can go ahead and drop me an email. I'm more than happy to answer questions you may have because as we move into crystal healing, whether this is our very first video we've ever listened to about crystal healing or if you've been working with crystal healing, perhaps you already um, done some study with me, then we just continue to grow and learn and um, deepen our understanding of how to work with all of the crystals. And this one in particular is just a real powerhouse. So if you don't have a Herkimer Diamond Quartz as part of your crystal toolkit, you may want to consider doing that. It really can be a wonderful asset to support your own healing as well as the work that you may be doing with others. So for now, I simply wish you many blessings. Be well.